Did you know that hundreds of animals are killed in the United States each year? And one of them is a wolf. Although they are very dangerous, but they rarely attack humans. And that makes the ecosystem unbalanced, affecting the property of the farm owners. So how can American farmers protect their cattle? By the way, if your friends are interested in watching such an issue, please share this video with them as we can all watch it together. Perhaps you do not know, wolves have existed in the United States for thousands of years before the settlement of Europeans to this continent. However, during the 19th and early 20th centuries, wolves were widely hunted and killed, and the number of wild wolves in the United States dwindled significantly. To protect and conserve this species, the U.S. government has implemented measures to protect and resettle wild wolves. In 1974, wolves began to be protected by the Endangered Species Act, and resettlement efforts were made to restore wolf populations. Since then, the number of wild wolves in the United States has increased and they have returned to many areas where they previously disappeared. The sheep farms have started to be attacked by wolves at night. When the sheep were moving into the farm, they were already there and immediately attacked when they weren't paying attention. The wolf beat the sheep until the sheep could no longer move. Then they enjoyed the lamb as a reward. The sheep ranchers had to work together to help erect the fences to protect the sheep farm. They used rudimentary tools to excavate layers of soil to build columns. However, the number of sheep attacked by wolves is still only a small fraction at that time, but the ranch owner breed and train sheepdogs. Sheepdogs are often created through a process of selection and crossbreeding to be suitable for the job of guarding and supervising sheep. These sheepdogs are usually very loyal to the sheep and sensitive to danger, including the presence of wolves. When they smell wolves near the sheep, they will lead the sheep to a safe place and then they will come back to chase the wolves away. The use of sheepdogs has helped farmers protect their flocks from wildlife threats and reduce the risk of herd loss. That is the journey of the day. They will be brought back to the farm by the shepherd dogs before dark. This period is the best time to act on wolves. They began to move closer to the farm. However, the sheepdogs remain outside to protect the farm. The percentage of sheep being eaten by wolves has also decreased significantly, and it is no longer a concern for sheep ranchers. 
Those methods were taken during the years the government made the decision to conserve the coyotes. However, until now, wolves have attacked many different species of livestock and poultry. So the villagers started hunting wolves. Hunters from all over the world come to the areas to hunt for wolves. They carried specialized guns and entered the forest. This is very dangerous, but they are people who have learned and trained a lot for hunting. If you are not a professional hunter, then I advise you not to go to this forest alone. It is very dangerous. Instead of shooting at other parts of their body, they would shoot them in the head or chest. These are two points that paralyze their whole body. And it is also a critical point after only one shot. Invasive wild wolves have become an increasingly serious problem in the United States. According to estimates by the United States Department of Agriculture, tracking the significant increase in the number of invasive wild wolves of 2023. There are about 2,500 invasive wild wolves living in 12 U.S. states, including Arizona, California, Colorado, Idaho, Montana, Nevada, New Mexico, Oregon, Utah, Washington, and Wyoming. They have the ability to attack and hunt, affecting many animals in the mountains. According to the USDA research, data shows that invasive wolves eat about 100,000 wild animals each year. Not only at the natural level, but invasive wild wolves are also moving down mountains and attacking cows and sheep farms as well, causing a great loss to the livestock industry. The USDA data indicates that each year, invasive wild wolves cause about $100 million in damage to the U.S. livestock industry, with the majority coming from their destruction of cows and sheep. Hunting wolves is the primary measure taken to control wolf populations. Wild wolves are nocturnal animals, taking advantages of the darkness to hunt prey most effectively. Hunting coyotes at night provides a better chance of encountering them, while also reducing the likelihood of coyotes becoming aware of human presence. The use of heat lamps is an important factor in hunting coyotes at night. Monocular heat lamps are small in size and easy to carry, while binocular heat lamps have a wide field of view to help hunters observe targets more easily. Binocular heat lamps have long-range pigeons, suitable for observing targets at a distance. Safety is another important factor that hunters should always pay attention to, avoiding shooting when there are other people or pets in sight to help prevent unwanted accidents. Additionally, compliance with local hunting regulations also ensures that hunting occurs legally and safely.
In many areas of the United States, hunters are equipped to have a valid hunting license to participate in coyote hunting. This competition is held every year in the state of Wyoming, USA, attracting the attention of hunters from all over the world. Hunting wolves is an effective way to control wolf populations and minimize their encroachment on livestock farms. This helps protect the livestock industry from damage caused by wolves. Placing coyote traps in snow areas is an important measure in controlling coyote populations, especially in winter snowy environments. To do it correctly and effectively, there are a few things to keep in mind. First of all, choosing the location to place the trap is very important. It needs to be a place with a lot of coyote tracks, such as footprints, droppings, and other signs. However, this measure also needs to be implemented carefully to avoid negative effects on the ecosystem. It is important to check traps regularly, make sure they are not damaged, and handle trapped coyotes properly according to the law. The number of wolves harvested in a year depends on many factors such as the size of the wolf population, the effectiveness of trapping and hunting regulations. Known for its similar flavor to Vention, coyote meat provides high protein and low fat content, making it an important food source for some communities. For example, reducing wolf populations could lead to increased predation pressure on other animals, affecting the natural balance. According to a 2022 University of Alaska Fairbanks survey, about 10% of Americans have had the experience of eating wolf meat. However, the number of people actually consuming this meat is decreasing, mainly due to increased awareness of the negative consequences of wolf meat consumption on ecosystems and biodiversity. So since these solutions have been affecting and preventing the growth of colonies of some invasive species, do you believe in any other better solution? If so, please don't forget to share your comments and opinions down below. Plus don't forget to share, like and subscribe to support our channel with our upcoming videos. And lastly, don't forget to share this video with all your friends so that they can watch it and enjoy it as well.